Hello everybody, welcome back to Buzzer Drew's Diane Buzzer. I know this is supposed to have been the part two, and I didn't do it. Uh, I was watching a video from surviving, uh, survival prepping for normal people, and he's pretty much touched on everything that's been going on with me. Uh, it was, I think, why do, why should you prepare? And he makes a very good point on it. It's, it's to limit the suffering. We all die someday. And... It may not be just to limit your suffering, it's to help minimize or, or limit suffering of ones you love, the ones you care for, family, friends. Uh, sometimes it might even be a stranger. I had a, I was gonna put out my, my part two video. Um, I got my hoop bender in on a Wednesday and Thursday I got my baby chickens in. Got the video. Or pretty much done a video. And then got a call from my brother and my mom that uh, they was taking my youngest brother off life support. And he'd been fighting for about two years, around two years. So that's why I didn't put get the video out. I'm gonna go ahead and redo it, do, redo the video before I put it out. But like I said, survival, survival prepping for normal people. He he put out the video about, like I said, about why you should prep. Prep. He also talked about trolls and maybe some of the the reasons that they troll. And which also touched on a subject of uh, a troll I got on a, one of my videos. He made the the person made the comment that I was a smoker and I shopped at Walmart so I didn't have any integrity, integrity, nah, I can't say the word, <laughs> or something else like that. And after getting the first trolls, which I've done a video on, kind of changed my mindset on it. Um, I, I commented back, thanks for the video, or thanks for the comment. Everyone has their own opinion, and hopefully they got something useful out of my videos. So my whole mindset on trolls has changed. Uh, any trolls that might be watching, you can try. You're not going to get the response out of me like, like maybe the first one did. Or like some of the responses I've seen from other YouTubers when they get trolled. You're not worth the time. You're not worth the trouble. And when things do get bad, you're going to reflect on it. Maybe, maybe you quit subscribing or quit watching because you didn't get the response that you wanted out of me which is fine. I do it just like Surviving Prepper for Normal People said. I do it to minimize as much suffering for my loved ones, for my friends, for people I care about, and for myself. And if shift doesn't happen before I, or if shift happens, after I pass, 
those ones that I help get started prepping or I prepared for, it'll still be there. They'll know why it's there. And maybe that'll bring some good memories whenever they have to break into that that stockpile the stuff I prepared for so I will be putting out a video uh, another thing he touched on was I don't want to suffer and I don't want my family and friends to suffer because they was starving to death because they was dying of thirst I just I want to try to minimize it that's why I do the videos I do I used to be you could say a recluse I think it's the word I'm looking for on my prepping very few people knew about it and I definitely didn't share it so even if you don't think if, if you're watching this video something has has sparked inside of you maybe it's doubt in the in the way things are going in the world maybe it's just simple because you actually done some hard thinking um, on a positive note <laughs> I'm getting close to 500 subscribers and in case you're wondering what that noise is, that was a horse fly in here. Anyway, I've, I'm I've, I'm working on 500, getting really close. I want to do a giveaway. I haven't figured out what or how to enter yet. Um, all my new subscribers, I welcome you. I hope the information that I that I do or things that I do help you in preparing um, I do try to go to when I get a notification that I have a new subscriber I usually click on it I kind of see what I'm, I'm curious on things you watch things you do maybe uh, I know I could never cover everything I've already seen I've seen some that looks like they're just now starting and I've seen some subscribers that I know are more prepared than what I am so I thank all of you I really do appreciate it I hope that I can comment on everything uh, that you post that you on your comments and I may not get to get to subscribing to everyone. Uh, some of the subscriptions I've got, it's maybe been a week since I've I've watched their videos. You know, things are. It seems like the more subscribers you get, the busier you get. And also something that I notice by all the new subscribers. Most of them are have been women, and I know that I don't want to stereotype. It's just a lot of men, you know, are the are, and I've been this way, gun ho. You know, got to have the guns, got to have the ammo. You know, got to be able to go out there with a with a hatchet and build a log cabin and they also do care about their families they do prep and women sorry for the generalization 
are have the motherly instinct. They have the, you know, they want to provide for their children. You know, they want to better their lives, you know, just in case type deals, you know, natural disasters, uh, a simple disaster, what would be a shift would be losing a job or, you know, acquiring a lot of medical. So I commend everyone that starts prepping and especially the women. Uh, if your significant other, someone you care about isn't into prepping, uh, and they're wondering why you are, this goes for male, men or women. If they're wondering why you are or, or think it's, it's useless or, you know, why do it, you're going to die anyway type deal. My suggestion would be the reason I prep is because I love you, I care for you, you mean the world to me and all that. And if something ever did happen, I want to be strong enough and I want you to be strong enough that we have each other's back even in the hardest times and that it will minimize our suffering, buy us some time to maybe plant a garden, find a better job, get a job, get well. I do it because I care. That's the way I have approached my own children on it. Uh, like I said, they know I've had a very good food pantry for all their lives. And even when it's my food pantry has dropped drastically, for whatever reason, I still had more. I still had enough that I could go a month maybe two months on just what I had stockpiled back or stored so if they're ever doubting why you're doing it you know don't don't my suggestion would be don't use the world's going to end you know the zombie apocalypse go with it the reason you do it and for the actual reason you do it is because you care so, anyway, I will get the, I'm, we'll get that vid, uh, part two. I'm gonna redo it, like I said. I will get it done. I will get it out. I don't know when I'm gonna post this. Anyway, this is Buzzard. We'll see you.